from U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Nightfall in Minneapolis in December usually spells freezing temps, and that is precisely the case outside these walls. But we are a comfortable 72 degrees inside U.S. Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New England Patriots and the Minnesota Vikings. out comes the former bench to get a Spartan and the pass and I'm better than Kirk Cousins. So the white nice thing you can always say about Kirk Cousins is that he's consistent. Always, always puts up nice numbers each and every year. If there is a downside to his game, it's been the lack of playoff success. All in all, the formidable starting quarterback at a time in the league. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys will take over. so they can practice them ahead of time. I will guarantee you, that fumble was not in the script. You don't think they had fumble written next to play one there? No, that was never in the script because they want to have good memories when they go in a football game, not something that could have gone wrong. So here are the Patriots now, an excellent field position to start. chance to convert that early turnover into points. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriots score. From four yards out. And the pass take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So really a nice drive there for the first points of the game. And how about the fact that it was a run by the wide receiver that got him into the end zone, Brandon? You know, these guys, we know they're not afraid to open up the playbook, and they showed it to us right there on the first drive. Flipping in X on the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Fifth now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. I think he's taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And they had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. And now they'll try again here, first and ten. Good game of nine on first down. And no 
this run here early on. It does take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early. Because then they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Maybe a good spot to take a shot here, second in a yard from the 34. And now Cousins here on the bootleg. Welcome to his left. Throw the left side, taken in by Jefferson. That one a first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run, and it's still accurate throwing the football. Now our first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. And it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you can pull the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the backfield. That's necessarily just playing with the line of scrimmage. Line up getting a 10 back as that sets him up for third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Play action now, Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. And he's able to take it across the field before he goes. Cousins is up to Jefferson that time. First down, Vikings. The play action fake. The throw on the move to his left. Open here, Adam Thielen. Ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. From the red zone now. Cousins. Catch is just made by Hussins in the tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line. That nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Cook. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. Through the air, last play now five on the ground. First and ten. Quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. A first down throw for Cousins. The officials kind of looking at each other down there and silently wonders, does this meet the level of grinding? Unfortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways or called his penalties. Cousins gives way to Cook. situation but my goodness think about it. running the ball here not even a thought yeah, is it defensively they're in a prime spot i, I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well i want to run it here guys Points one, two, and they're in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, yeah that's got to serve as a wake up call, though, because they can't afford the ball to the defense and miss opportunities. And the process is that Offense takes the field. Charles able to find one more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out. They found the end zone for six. They're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carpet. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's picked down just inside the 35. A prime example there of how his height can be an advantage. It makes it tough on some of these smaller defensive backs. When they try and go through, 
that type of a receiver to get the ball. Created a nice gap for the running back to get through. I picked up seven yards. And yeah, he's probably shortly on the headset right there. We got it going, boys. Just keep it going. And he'll be hit as he releases it. Full incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had a big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. Forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one on one. If you win your one on ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way. Work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner? Safety? Linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ty Montgomery taking it from 11 yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front. Offensive line collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. First down, here's the run with Cook. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. And this is going to be incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Here's Jones. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Prime time, baby. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. One of the more impressive punt returns you will see. That one from 87 yards away. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Hey, rookie. 
That's the way to make an impression. Return one for a touchdown. Yeah, welcome to the party. We saw him fielding those punts before the game, and he just had a little bit of a look in his eye, didn't he? He did. He was a confident young man. Now we know why. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead is up to 18 now. Well, it's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Meanwhile, Cousins' throw pulled in by Jefferson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, he'll come up with a second and five. Now Cousins, over the middle complete, it's Osborne. Seven yards there and a first down. Now a give running right, it's Cook. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been... A beautiful spin and room to run! And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. On second and goal, Cousins. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the pass here to have the football at their own one-yard line. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity, lost. They'll start on the ground with Strong. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. We often give credit to the O-line. Their two tight end formation, those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Thornton. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 21 to 3 is your score after one. Here's Allen on first and ten. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring it down. Darius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their... Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And, partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood 
what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time, but nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. Out to his left. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And now they'll throw with Allen. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Allian. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Allen. And it's caught. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, 
There's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that plagued it on the last one. They'll try to middle with Cook. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 91 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Cousins. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. He gets this away as he'll wisely, I'd say, angle this to the sideline. Let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who have been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellows. Not an easy thing for them to do. All in all, no gain on the play. And it'll bring up third. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, Elliott. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Throwing on first down is Allen. Downfield and caught by Thornton. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Tyquan Thornton, 55 yards. And the Patriots are able to widen their lead here in this first half. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Full connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. One up to about the 35. 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, Cousins. Steps away. That is caught by Thielen. Touchdown. Adam Thielen. 65 yards. And the Vikings are able to cut into that deficit. They haven't fully climbed the mountain, but 
they've started the ascent here with that score. I like that, right? They've, I think they've left base camp now, okay? So they've started to move their way up the mountain. Long way to go, but at least they know it's manageable. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a maybe a yard shot him there at the 24. That's it's ready to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up and ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First down on Allen. Henry brings it in. And he'll have it catch the field almost to the 40 before he can take it down. A good, good kick up there, 21 yards. It, it is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that first round there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. Inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. And inside, get him to Allen. And he'll get this one down to about 17. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One yard game looks like a disaster. It all depends on how the game is going. Is it, is it a series of one yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more.
lot of like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success winning the ball. And I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep on that defense, and I think our coaches up in the box would do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be a license to take some shots down the field. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. At their pace, that this is ball control football to sustain runs, taking their time, and making it work. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Make the catch. For New England, 41 yards. Again, I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads. Teams playing to extend them. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Defenders hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On play action, Cousins. It's caught, Smith. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Up 
the middle. It's Cook. Pushes past him. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that touchdown Vikings. T.J. Hawkinson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Allen now on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To the air, Allen. And incomplete on the deep ball. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Allen going to go on fourth down. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they wind up getting 13 there on fourth down. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's strong. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. As you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the counter, Elliott. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Up the 
the middle. Here's Elliott. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second and a yard. Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. The give is to Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eating up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. And this is caught by Allen for a New England touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the night as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Fulp now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. To throw again on second down, Cousins. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Again, it's Cousins. They're going back to the same well as Hawkinson again. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. They run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. They get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Throwing his Cousins. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Osborne. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball. And unfortunately, there it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. On first. 
First and 10, Cousins got his man complete over the middle. It's Osborne, and they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. On second down, Cook, and they'll bring it down at the 13-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Cousins to throw it. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Cook will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. Well, partner, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin fourth quarter. You're going. The kick by Joseph is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL. Defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Second and six, just inside the 30. Again, it's Elliott. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again to Elliott. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where the extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Here's Allen to throw it. He's going to wind up and air it out. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. So we get another 
shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Here's Allen. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Uh, give up the middle to Strong. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Strong one more time. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Well, a clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, but now you lose your keys to each other. And they hit him over the top. Lost him a yard, and it brings him forward. Essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they can let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A lot has resulted. It's a bit running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. That's a fourth-down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Quarter quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Inside give to Elliott. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five about the four. And now right out of the two-minute break. We're going to get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up to second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. We're likely put an end to this thing. This, this is Elliott. successful but when, when you're able to mix run pass when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains i'm using every cliche i know but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. and this will not be returned it's a touchback and then they'll begin at the 25. here are the vikings now to start their next drive 
And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. They'll be looking for a touchdown. Good, 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 big chunk now. Because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal, the way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on your six. They've got a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. There's a chance to see if they can just score. Second down play. Play action now. Cousins. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. The third and long for Cousins. start to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A fourth time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Under the lights in prime time, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Minneapolis, good night, everybody.